Kansas City police are investigating a random rush hour shooting. Zach Tecklenburg is live off Cleaver and Elmwood. Well, Krista, I just got the very latest from Kansas City Police, and they say they are still searching for the shooter after what they're calling an extreme case of road rage that turned deadly earlier tonight. It was a pretty big crime scene stretching for several blocks on Cleaver 2 uh, between Cleveland Avenue and Elmwood Avenue. Police aren't sure what led up to the shooting, but they say one woman fired shots into another woman's car and killed her. The woman was already dead by the time officers arrived. At this point, police do not believe that the two knew each other. This happened around 5 30 tonight, so police say there were many witnesses that have helped them put together a strong description of the car that the shooter was driving. Kansas City Police tonight are on the lookout for a maroon SUV, possibly an explorer or an expedition from the early 2000s with tinted windows and no license plates. The description of the driver, however, is more vague. She's described only as a black female, but whoever she is, police say what she did is absolutely senseless. I know people get angry, but the, the larger problem is that there's people that think this is the right way to solve your problem, so I, I, it's mind-boggling to me. With so many potential witnesses, police are asking anyone who saw anything big or small around 5.30 tonight in this area to call the TIPS hotline at 474-TIPS. We're live tonight in Kansas City, Missouri. Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News. Now, these numbers are frightening. Tonight's murder makes seven homicides since Monday. That's seven lives lost to gunfire on Kansas City streets in just 48 hours. This comes as Kansas City police announced their most comprehensive crime-fighting plan in decades just today. It's called KC Nova. No other we hope to significantly impact the violent crime rate in Kansas City. It's an aggressive plan police call groundbreaking. KC Nova, or the Kansas City No Violence Alliance, brings together city, county, state, and federal law enforcement as one collective crime fighter. The doors of communication are wide open, and each agency is looking inward at itself on the processes that are in place to challenge the way we do things, to work better with their partners, to truly impact the violence in Kansas City. Take today's double homicide at 80 first in Hickman Mills. Police expect to solve the case and make an arrest, but KC Nova hopes to reduce the deadly violence by going to the next level. We need to be proactive to intervene in cycles of violence before they occur. With the homicide rate in the triple digits year after year, they've turned to science. They do link charts, so this is like link charts on steroids. UMKC professor Dr. Andrew Fox maps out criminal associations, much like health experts track the spread of disease. We can link all of who are the known associates, who are the individuals who have been involved involved in violent crimes before. When police identify and take out the ringleader at the nucleus of the crime cell, they believe the entire cell will fall apart. So when we do remove key individuals, the, that person next to him on the outskirts doesn't step up and take his place.